Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Free agent CB Stefan Gilmore still waiting for the right opportunity ahead of year 13. Waves of free agency have come and washed away. Stefan Gilmore remains looking for a team, but heading into his age 34 season, the veteran cornerback is comfortable taking his time. Being patient right now, Gilmore said Wednesday at the red carpet of Tom Brady's Patriots Hall of Fame ceremony, per MassLive.com. I feel good year 13, been playing a long time. So I'm just being patient and waiting for the right opportunity. Gilmore's career has trended nomadic in the past three years. After splitting his first nine and a half NFL campaigns between the Bills and Patriots, he spent a half half-season with the Panthers in 2021, before donning Colts and Cowboys colors for a year each. His finest seasons were for Buffalo and New England, especially 2016 with the Bills, when he collected five interceptions to reach his first Pro Bowl, and his 2019 Defensive Player of the Year season with the Pats, in which he had a league-leading six picks and made first-team All-Pro a second straight time. But he's played admirably at every stop, a football mercenary capable of delivering poise and composure to a secondary. He made a Pro Bowl for Carolina, his fifth overall despite playing just nine games, and had two interceptions and a then-career-high 66 tackles for Indianapolis. He followed that up in 2023 with another two-interception season while logging 68 tackles to reset his career high in Dallas. Now he waits to contribute his services again. At number 16, Gilmore is the highest-ranked player remaining on Greg Rosenthal's top 101 free agents. He sports 140 career passes to Fenced, and his 31 interceptions are sixth most among active players. With organized team activities and mini camps over, it's possible a team will sign him in the window before training camp. Suitors might also later look to him should an injury occur, either in practice or a preseason contest. That's the waiting game aging vets play, even successful ones, as evidenced by three of the players ahead of him on the active int list also being available. Given his presence at Brady's Patriots Hall of Fame ceremony, the question of a reunion with New England did arise. Although the two parties experienced a contentious end, and Gilmore noted he's not had contact with the Pats this offseason, he didn't squash such a possibility. You never know, he said. I'll weigh any options. This is a place that I played great ball, so just letting it play out how it's gonna be. Be it New England or elsewhere, Gilmore's track record suggests he still has plenty to offer wherever he winds up next. Proposed trade sees Cowboys flip CeeDee Lamb for $60 million receiver. The Dallas Cowboys would be an ideal landing spot for a wide receiver who may not be destined to be with his current team for much longer. As Bleacher reports, Derek Clausen writes, a potential trade candidate is none other than Denver Broncos wide receiver Cortland Sutton. The argument is simple. The Cowboys need another receiver in the room, and acquiring another one would give Dallas the flexibility to use CeeDee Lamb in a variety of spots, including his old slot role. If the Cowboys want to continue to lean on Lamb from the slot and use use his outside capabilities as a changeup, they can go get another outside receiver to let him still play from the slot, writes Clausen. Either way, the Cowboys need a new body in the receiver room. Both Cortland Sutton and CeeDee Lamb seeking new contracts Sutton, who is coming off of his best season in years, is seeking a contract extension with two years remaining on his deal as part of his four-year $60 million deal. However, both Sutton and the Broncos are currently at a contract stalemate. Lim is actually facing a similar situation with the Cowboys where he's seeking a new deal as he enters the final year of his rookie contract. The three-time Pro Bowl receiver stayed away from mandatory minicamp recently as he seeks a new contract. In an alternate scenario, when considering the Cowboys' current stalemate situation with Lamb, they could instead flip him for another starting receiver, such as Sutton. In a trade scenario proposed by fansided's Lou Scatalia, the Cowboys would deal Lamb in exchange for Sutton, a 2025 first-round pick and a 2026 second-round pick. The three-time pro bowler just watched his WR brethren Justin Jefferson sign a deal worth $35 million per season, writes Scatalia. 
Well, any team who extends Lamb may have to beat that number, believe it or not. It is a high price, but it's what the top of the WR market is at now. The Denver Broncos would likely have to part with valuable draft capital to make this deal go down. Perhaps multiple draft picks and a player, like I've proposed above. Would Cortland Sutton a first and a second round pick be enough? Cortland Sutton could be next best potential replacement for CeeDee Lamb. The two receivers couldn't be any more different from how they play on the field and from a pure size standpoint. Lamb is 6 foot 2 and 200 pounds, while Sutton is 6 foot 4 and 215 pounds. Lamb has the flexibility to play in the slot and be used carrying the football. He has 43 career carries for 318 yards and 3 touchdowns, while Sutton is a pure outside receiver who is best used when he's able to leverage his big frame in the red zone. Sutton obviously doesn't bring the production or dominant ability of Lamb. The former had 772 receiving yards in comparison to the latter's 1,749 yards, but he would be the next best option if the Cowboys did decide to part ways with Lamb, especially given Dallas' current lack of depth of wide receivers beyond Lamb and Cooks, Jalen Tolbert and Kevonte Turpin project as the next best receivers. It would only make sense for the Cowboys to acquire another proven receiver immediately if they were forced to replace Lamb. Cowboys Insider reminds fans of important Dak Prescott financial fact. The Dallas Cowboys have seemingly been in a holding pattern this offseason as they try to figure out how to give out contract extensions to their three biggest stars, wide receiver CeeDee Lamb, pass rusher Micah Parsons, and quarterback Dak Prescott are soon due for extensions, and the Cowboys don't currently have a lot of flexibility under the NFL's hard salary cap they can use to extend them. On Thursday, the Jacksonville Jaguars' Trevor Lawrence secured a five-year, $275 million extension that will pay him about $55 million a year, which will tie him with Joe Burrow of the Cincinnati Bengals for the highest annual salary in the league. To his credit, Prescott, per Clarence Hill Jr., hasn't asked for that type of money. Many have praised Prescott for his character on and off the field, and Cowboys fans have to hope that he would take some sort of reasonable discount in order to help the team retain the rest of its core. The Cowboys have had one of the NFL's most talented teams for a while now, but they have had nothing to show for it, and their fans are growing restless for some major improvements. The proud franchise has won five Super Bowl championships, but it hasn't won it all or even gotten to the NFC Championship game since the 1995 season. There is also the matter of Prescott's repeated failures in the playoffs, which have left some fans inclined to want Dallas to start over with a different signal caller after this coming season. Unless he gets an extension soon enough, Prescott will become a free agent in the spring of 2025.